The Woli or Caroline Island script, thought to have been a syllabary, was a partially Latin-based script indigenous to Woli Atoll and nearby islands of Micronesia and used to write the Wolean language until the mid-20th century. At the time the script was first noticed by Europeans, Micronesia was known as the Caroline Islands, hence the name Caroline Island script. The script has 99 known C v glyphs, which are not quite enough for a complete representation of the Wolayan language, even given the fact that consonant and vowel length are ignored. Approximately a fifth of them derive from the Latin alphabet. The question for historians is whether the Wolayans had proto-writing which crystallized into full-fledged writing under the influence of the Latin alphabet, or if they were exposed to the Latin alphabet without completely understanding it see trans-cultural diffusion, and supplemented it either with existing signs from petroglyphs, tattoos, and the like, or by created new rebus or ad hoc symbols, until it was sufficient to fully express Wolayan. The script was written from left to right. Since length was ignored, one glyph stood for both ga and ka xa and kea, and another for both la and na la, na, and ena. Some glyphs stood for longer syllables than just consonant plus vowel, such as bag, war, tut, mwa, shro, kroa, gkaa, etc. Not enough glyphs were recorded to write all Wolayan syllables this way, and it is not known if the script was fully standardized. Topic History Topic In 1905 a lost missionary named Alfred Snelling and his Chukese crew landed on Oropik, a Wolayan speaking atoll 100 km to the southwest of Woli proper. There they taught the islanders the Latin orthography of Chukese. The Wolians, perhaps not given enough time to grasp the concept of an alphabet where each syllable is written as consonant plus vowel, understood each letter to represent its name, and thus interpreted the Latin alphabet as a defective syllabary that could only represent simple vowels and consonants plus the vowel I. Riesenberg and Kaneshiro 1960 call the glyphs at this stage of development type 2. The glyphs were also mixed up somewhat, although the letters resembling T, K, S, R, H, O, E, for example, stood for T, Ki. C, R, I, W, O, there is no H sound in Wolayan, and W, I stood for me, ni, that is, the letters M and N were inverted, letters resembling L, B, D stood for phi, T, pi. Note that these Latin letters are not necessary for Wolayan, since short L and long N are not distinguished. Snelling died on Woli on his way back to Chuk. His crew continued, and at Faroulip the syllabary was augmented with glyphs that Riesenberg and Kaneshiro called type 1. At least some of these may have been rebuses. This extended syllabary spread back to the other islands. When the next missionary, John Macmillan Brown, reached Woli in 1913, he found an indigenous writing system, albeit one known to only a few people. A chief named E. Gilimar showed it to him, and Brown published a list of 51 glyphs in 1914 that included V, CV, CVV, CCV, and CVC syllables. E. Gilmar's list is shown in the infobox at the top of this page. Topic Unicode Topic Preliminary proposals have been made to add Woli script to Unicode. They propose 97 characters. These constituted an incomplete set of the V and CV syllables of the script. No CCV or CVC syllables are included. Topic notes Topic Topic Further reading Topic Riesenberg, Saul H., and Shigeru Kaneshiro, 1960. A Caroline Islands Script, in Bureau of American Ethnology Bulletin 173, 269-333. Washington, D.C., Smithsonian Institution. See also Rongorongo Avoyuli Caroline Islands Topic. External links Topic. Omniglot An image of the syllabary with glyphs taken from the Unicode proposal. Phonoblog Discussion of Riesenberg and Kaneshiro